down. Yesterday, we all don't panic. No demon can capsize uh, Jesus' pot. So this morning, I would like to introduce once again our speaker, Dr. Sedna Kojo Yangson, um, all the way from, uh, he's now in New York, um, on the church called Mount of Olives, a Seventh-day Adventist church. My pastor, this is your time. I know I can say good evening to you, good morning. There come a time when we don't worry about time differences, when we... We are all under one time zone in heaven. But this is your time, my pastor, my doctor. May you uh, unmute. Uh, you're there you are. It's your time. Amen. Amen. Good morning, South Africa and beyond. <laughs> Valerie, thank you very much uh, for that sweet, melodious uh, introduction and presentation and making Jesus look good with the enthusiasm and the joy with which you talk about Jesus. And um, it's good to um uh, come again to worship with uh virtual prayer ministry uh, and i want to thank uh, uh elder easy and uh pastor papu and uh all the leadership as you have uh, uh given me the opportunity to share the word of the lord with uh, god's people uh, without further ado we want to go straight into our 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 presentation and as you know our theme for the week has been our victorious christ our victorious christ and uh it, it translates into it this it translates into christ is our uh, uh christ is victorious in my life christ is my victorious savior jesus is victorious we have to claim that victory for ourselves and that's what we are uh, why we're here today we want like the prayer said the late sister pray that we might believe in this victorious christ so that when in times of crisis in times of crisis, in times of the storm we can depend on him to save us uh, because he is uh, victorious over the enemy uh so today our topic you know the theme is our victorious christ the topic the devil can win the victory over Jesus no matter what. Now, I will add a piece to it in the middle of the sermon. But for now, the devil can win the victory over Jesus no matter what. As you can believe. You can trust. Hallelujah. We're going into the message. So, uh, like we have already been um, establishing or we have established here uh, every morning as we go over our motto or our slogan uh, i say jesus and you say victorious because i want you to believe it i want you to receive it i want you to accept it i want you to uh hold it in the mind so that in times of crisis you can call to mind jesus is victorious so jesus victorious hallelujah i'm going to call again jesus victorious Oh, yes. Ah, what about Satan? Defeated. Defeated. Yes, he defeated. He's defeated. Satan. Defeated. 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 All right, all right. And then the last one. So Satan will call twice for defeat. And then the la the third one is going down. So this is the third. This is the third one. Satan. Yeah, it's going down, 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 down. <laughs> In the name. Jesus. Amen. So we, we are in Luke, Luke chapter 8. We are in Luke chapter 8, 22. Now, but as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him, awoke him, and say, uh, saying, Master, Master we perish then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased and there was a calm and he said unto them where is your faith ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho where is your faith and they being afraid one they say one to another what manner of man is this for he commanded even the winds and the water and they obey him hallelujah jesus bible says jesus rose from his sleep rebuked the wind and the sea 
and they ceased. And there was a calm. But then, but then, but then, brethren, but then the master also rebuked his disciples. Where is your faith? Why are you so fearful? And this week, we are, we are asking the question, why is the master rebuking his frustrated disciples in a, in a, in a stormy sea? Why is the master rebuking his frustrated disciples uh, in a stormy sea? And the lesson number three, the lesson for this morning. We have had two lessons already from this message. The lesson number three, Jesus rebuked his disciples to teach us a lesson. What's the, what's the lesson? That even when Jesus is sleeping. Oh, are you ready for it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Even when Jesus is sleeping. <laughs> Satan cannot gain victory over him. I want to shout. <laughs> I want to shout hallelujah. Even when Jesus is sleeping, Satan cannot gain victory over him. The devil can win victory over Jesus no matter what, not even in his sleep. The devil had the opportunity of a lifetime to kill Jesus and his disciples and to destroy his plan of redemption forever. But, 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 no matter how much hell he raised and huffing and puffing he displayed in the storm, he never could win the victory over Jesus. The devil had been stalking Jesus all his life from childhood to his fasting in the wilderness to destroy him and was never successful. So when he saw Jesus sleeping in the boat, ooh, <laughs> he said, now is the opportunity. He saw his last opportunity to, to take Jesus out, to kill him. And he thought it would be perfect uh, 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 just to drown him right here. And so he sneaked up on Jesus to drown and suffocate him in his sleep on the boat. And even here, the devil showed fear. Look at that. Look at the, the dynamics. The devil showed fear for Christ. He demonstrated that he was afraid of Jesus and could not engage him in a fair fight, except he snuck up on him in a monstrous storm to drown him. Can you see that the devil is a scare, a scare crow? He's, a, he's afraid, like they say in Ghana, he's a afraid man. He fears Jesus. He's afraid of him. He can't take him on in a fair fight. So he sneak up on him to drown him in the sea. But no matter what he did, he never could win the victory over Jesus. And that is our point of emphasis today. Even when Jesus is sleeping, Satan, our master, cannot, uh, 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 Satan cannot gain victory over our master. Oh, I take that back. I, I, I'm talking about Jesus, our master. Let me, let me read that back. Uh, 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 and that is our point of emphasis today. Even when Jesus, our master, is sleeping, uh -huh, uh -huh, Satan cannot gain the victory over him. Jesus, our master, the victorious Christ. There was another reason the devil determined to kill Jesus at sea. Remember, he chose sea. Jesus in the boat at sea to kill him. And there was another reason. To prevent Jesus from embarrassing him at Gadara with the demoniacs. Remember the demoniacs at Gadara. The devil knew Jesus was on his way to confront him at Gadara to cast out his demons into the swine down the sea and to deliver the demoniacs from, the, from, from demonic domination. And the devil wanted to finish Jesus at sea before he had any chance of getting out to defeat him, defeat and humiliate him. So you know why the devil wanted to uh, kill Jesus at sea. Jesus was on his way to, to, to confront him at Gadara to, to, to cast out his, his legend of demons from, from, from the demoniacs and, and send them down into the sea. And he doesn't want them embarrassed. So he wanted to kill Jesus at sea before he got 
uh, he, he had any chance to get out. Matthew 8, 28. And when he was come to other, the other side into the country of uh, Ge, uh, Gegesenes, which is Gadara, there met him to possess with devils. To possess men with devils. Coming out of the tombs, exceeding uh, fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. 29. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, Son of God? Ah, look at their, their complaint. Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? This is the devil's crying. The devil's crying. The devil's crying when they saw Jesus. What have we to do with you, Son of God? Come hither to torment us before the time. Have you come to judge us? Have you come to condemn us? Have you come to, to, to destroy us before the time? They're scared of Jesus. And there was a good way off from them and heard of many swine feeding. So the devils besought. Besought means what? Begged. They begged Jesus Christ. They begged him saying, If thou canst, if thou cast us out, suffer us. Uh, to go away into the herd of swine. They are begging Jesus. And he said unto them, Go, come on, go, get away, get out. <laughs> and when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine, and behold, uh, and behold, the whole herd of swine ran violently down a steep place into the sea and perished in the waters. That's why Satan determined to kill Jesus at sea. Not to get out of the boat alive to save himself from um, uh, from uh, embarrassing, humiliating defeat. That's why he ambushed Jesus in his sleep to take him out. But he failed. For even when Jesus is sleeping, brethren, hallelujah, somebody. Even when Jesus is sleeping, we serve a mighty God. Our Christ is victorious over the forces of evil. Don't be afraid of, of we, we, we have well, made the devil uh, look so powerful. Sir. Devil is no powerful. Jesus is all power in heaven and on earth is given unto me. And if Jesus has all power, where is the devil's power? We have made the devil look powerful. He has no power. He ambushed Jesus Christ in his sleep to take him out. But he failed for even when Jesus is pain. Satan can win the victory over him. For what the devil failed to realize was that while Jesus was sleeping with one eye closed, <laughs> while Jesus was sleeping with one eye closed, he's got his other eye open for security, for he watches over me. <laughs> he watches over us. Can somebody say amen? Oh, I wish I could see your faces so I can, I can, I can, uh, because, you know, we, 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 we want to talk to uh, 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 live people. You know, I, I'm seeing names, but I, I wish I could see faces. It, 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 when, whilst Christ is sleeping with one eye closed, he's got one eye open for security while he watches over us. So, so, so why should I feel discouraged? The song says, why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion? My constant friend is he. His eye <laughs> is on the sparrow. His eyes on the sparrow. And I know he watches over me. The devil failed to remember that Jesus was both divine and human. And while the human side may be sleeping, may be tired and sleeping, the divine side never sleeps. That's why he could protect his children even in his sleep. So brethren, fear not. Fear not. The devil cannot defeat Jesus in his sleep. Behold, he that keepeth Israel. Psalm 121. He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. 
thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah, somebody. So, child of the living God, be not dismayed whatever betide you. God will take care of you. So, so fret not yourselves because of evildoers. They shall soon be cut down. The word of assurance for today is Jesus is victorious over Satan even in his sleep. <laughs> also, you can entrust your battles to Jesus for your victory is in Jesus. Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Righteous runneth into it and is safe. Brethren, there is still power in the name of Jesus. That was what David was trying to tell Goliath. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 44. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with sword and, and with peer, a spear and with javelin. Ah, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from, uh, head from, from you. And this day I will give the carcasses uh, of the camp of the Philistine to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Brethren, the devil is defeated. The devil may come to us with his spears and swords and floods and storm on the raging sea, but whom virtual prayer ministry we come in the name of the Lord. For with Jesus in the vessel, even if he's sleeping, <laughs> that's the point for tonight. Even if he's sleeping, we can, we must, we, 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 we shall smile at a storm. So peace, be still. But then we serve a victorious Christ who can defeat the devil in his sleep. So our faith in him is a victorious faith. That over well, the song says, Our hearts with love are flamed, will vanquish the host of night in Jesus' conquering name. For our faith is the victory that overcomes the world in Jesus' name. So, 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 finally, whether the wrath of the storm to see, or demons, or men, or whatever it be, no water can swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean, earth, and sky. They all shall sweetly. Obey his will. Peace be still. Peace be still. In your soul, in your life, peace be still. Yes, the storm may rage, toss high, sky overshadowed with blackness, but they all shall sweetly obey his will. Peace be still in your health, in your home, on your job, in your marriage, with your children. May the peace of God that passes all understanding fill your whole being today. To know that even when the master is sleeping, Satan cannot win the victory over him. So peace be still in your life. We have talked about our victorious Christ is in your boat. No need to panic. That's our first message. And then we say victorious Christ in your boat. No demon can capsize your boat. And then tonight, our victorious Christ in your boat. The devil can win the victory over him even in his sleep. May the peace of God be upon your soul, even now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Uh, Pastor, may you just please pray for us, short prayer for us. Father, we thank you that you have won the victory on our behalf, and with you in our boat, no devil can capsize the boat. And even if you, your eye is upon the sparrow, and you watch, it, you watch over us, and in you, we have the victory. We claim it this morning in Jesus' name. Amen.